Welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our fantastic creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Ingraham, and right now we are at the Art Walk hosted by Think Local Little Falls in Little Falls, New York, and I'm hanging with artist Frank Wilcox. Thank you so much for hanging with us. You're very welcome. So tell us a little bit about your art piece. Oh, my art, I do paintings of the Adirondacks because I, I'm spiritually drawn to them. Oh, that's great. So how is your personality reflected in your artwork? I think I'm positive. You've got to be positive because there's so much downer stuff going around, you know. You start to dig a hole and you can just bury yourself, so you've got to always be up. And my paintings have a positive aspect of the great visualizations of nature. Yes, yes it does. It's absolutely beautiful. Are there any particular artists that have influenced you? Yes, but in different ways. Kathy Kolowitz, who was a German expressionist, was an influence on me. And uh, some of the other German expressionists, too. Uh, but uh, color-wise, some of the abstract artists. It, it depends on your age, you know, and I went through that era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think are the most inspiring things that help you create your artwork? The Adirondacks. The rocks, the water, the trees. Because the rocks are more permanent than anything else. The trees sort of they grow and they die. Man is just very fly by nightly. It's, you know, but the rocks are there. Nature, yeah, nature. When did you begin your artwork career? Oh, when I went to art school. <laughs> A million years ago. <laughs> so you went to school for art? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, what kinds of tools do you like to use? Um, ink, paint, oils? I use paint. I used to use oil, except then when my kids were small, uh, the oils are really toxic and the cobalt mediums and the, oh, are awful toxic. So I switched to acrylics and I've never looked back. <laughs> oh, see, I just talked to another artist, he likes acrylics too. Yeah. Can you describe the first time that you realized that creating was something that you wanted to do? Oh, that was when I was a little kid, yes. Yeah, when I, I, I like to draw, you know, because I, I could escape, you know, into drawing, too. Hi. Do you have any uh, creative rituals that you do before you start your, your uh, artwork? Yeah, I turn on music, and I have a cup of tea, <laughs> and then I go. <laughs> go for it. Yes. Uh, what's your most favorite thing that you've created? I have a painting at home that's of a dead tree in the uh, near Upper Saranac Lake, and that's my all-time favorite. All favorite. Yes. Can people find you or your art? Not on the web. No, I used to have a uh, have a website that my daughter took care of, but now my daughter's in Hong Kong, so I don't have one now. <laughs> She, she's got other things to do. <laughs> Is your artwork for sale? Yes. yes. So where can people purchase it? Through the Art Center, the Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts. Okay. Yep. The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts. Do we have time for a game or are we running out of time? So... Uh, 
what do you, are you, uh, you're a public school teacher, or you were? No, I was. You were? I was, yes, in Little Falls. In Little Falls. Well, and other places, too, downstate, but mostly in Little Falls, yes. Okay, what grades did you teach? Well, I started out in elementary, and then I moved, I, I grew up and went to high school eventually. <laughs> <laughs> what did you prefer? Each one has positives. Elementary school children are very open and very creative. But high school students are, um, I don't know, they're, they're more adult, so you don't have to teach them how to use scissors. They know how to do that. You don't, they know how to wash their paintbrushes, hopefully. They've learned all of those basics. Well, Harry's telling us we're going to play a game. This game is called Dirty Minds. Have you heard of it? Never. Well, there's a little twist because we don't have time to play Dirty Minds. So what, what we do is I give you a book. Okay. And you're just going to randomly open the page, read me a question, and I'm going to try to figure out what it is. Um, I throb when I'm excited. A massage brings me back to life. Pumping is my business. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Am I turning red yet? Let's A see. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm going to guess uh, attire. <laughs> I give you the answer. A heart. <laughs> that's so not what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say what I was thinking. Uh, now, right. it's my turn. Ready? Yep. I sometimes go, oh my, I'm so sorry I picked this one. I sometimes go down on you. <laughs> my, my bites don't bruise, and I can drive it floppy or hard. Uh, a CD or a disc? Close. You were close. Computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, it's been a blast. We've had so much fun hanging with Frank Wilcox today. I'm Allison Ingerham. But before we go, we would like to thank our partners at Famous Faces and Funnies. Space Coast Comics, the Florida Book News, and Word Fire Press, and our great friends at Summon Unique Magazine. These are the folks that share our videos all over the world, world wide web, uh, and we hope that you do too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and let us know what you think of today's show and our guests. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log in, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so You're much, very Frank. Thank <laughs> you.